Well, my interest is in the parasites very broadly, but certainly my focus has been on the worm parasites. I prefer those um, larger things than the very small single cell parasites. And uh, more specifically, my interest is in chemotherapy of parasitic diseases. And I've been interested in other aspects in the basic biology and immunology a little bit. But the uh, vast majority of my work has been on, uh, on uh, drugs and new drug development for parasitic infections, and particularly worm infections. Yes, that's the one that has uh, had the most um, impact, certainly by far, and is uh, the best known. And it's a thing that's linked with me uh, more than other stuff, but I've done other stuff that I have found equally or more satisfying scientifically, uh, such as working on the cryopreservation of worms so that you can have frozen larval stages of various strains of various species, uh, which saves an enormous amount of cost and labor in maintaining those, those organisms. But in terms of actual importance, of course, the ivermectin is the one that is by far the most important and that I was worked on for 15 years, uh, but always as part of a team, and indeed the team was always part of a consortium of teams. So it's very much a shared uh, contribution. Well, it was interesting because when I was in graduate school at the University of Wisconsin in the early 1950s, in 1954, ASP met in Madison, Wisconsin. And I, of course, had not heard of this, but my major professor um, uh, insisted that his graduate students join the society and furthermore should appreciate the fact that this was a rare event because right where we were in Madison, Wisconsin was going to be this forthcoming meeting which we must all go to, which I went to, and that was in 1954. Um, and my professor, Arlie Todd, uh, made sure that, that we didn't fail to show up there and it was wonderful. And I remember um, certain things of it to this day. Unfortunately, one of the things I remember most was a very senior man cutting, to, cutting down some poor young scientist, um, putting him in his place. But that was the exception. And I think that, in fact, has sort of disappeared, that old school um, thing where the, you know, the, the learned professor, which not my professor in that case, because he was a very gentle soul, but uh, uh, one of the visiting professors um, was wanted to make sure everybody knew that young upstarts were young upstarts. Um, and I think that's changed and we're much more encouraging of young people than we used to be, uh, to our benefit of course. Well, it has been my journal, but um, there's no question about it. That's where I published and at an early age was invited to review papers and I was invited to be on the editorial board um, about 1970 and then I went to Australia and the editor at that time, since everything was shipped by mail overseas, said, you know, we'll take you off the editorial board until you come back <coughs> a couple of years later. And I was on it, and in one capacity or another, I think I've been on it ever since, even this year to this day. Um, and that has been a very rewarding experience, and um, I used to review a lot of papers, and I find myself becoming more lenient as I get older. <laughs> um, but uh, that's, that's behind me now. I'm not actively, actively reviewing papers, uh, but still, um, connected with the editorial board.